everybody, standing ovation, back with another break. And I got more SP. I got SP game used. I got SP authentic. I got SP, 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 SP. Game used. Yesterday came out. My, my, my video yesterday, I was obviously not as pleased as I wanted to be with the new product release. But I wasn't surprised. To be honest, this has happened too many times where I've opened up a product that did not have, as advertised, six cards per pack. Now, I did speak with QA in my last video. I've, I've since spoken with James. James, thanks for being straightforward with me and handling a, a very upset guy who I've had seven products, seven premium products, missing cards. So very little that QA can do over the phone. I know there's production and there's all kinds of departments that handle hockey cards that handle stuff like this when I have a concern and anybody has a concern, but I'm actually pleased to, to see how he is handling it. Um, your QA at uh, upper deck. Basically, if you have a problem, when you're opening a product, you need to send them in proof of purchase, that seal and a descriptive letter of what happened basically through their email. They'll create a case claim for you and send you the card if it's missing a card and, or they'll ask you at least for some more information. And anyway, they've been always good about fixing the problem, but I not really fixing the problem. I want the problem to not happen. And um, again, there's very little that they can tell you over the phone, but all I know is that my concerns are being heard and hopefully seven products in a row that have cards missing with them will Somebody up at the top will maybe address this problem by next year. And, and 23, 24 products are coming out. They actually have as advertised. See, that feels like, I don't know. See, there's no guarantee, but it definitely feels like there's six cards there, not five. But SP Authentic, whole different ball of wax. You're going to get two autographs in this. At least everyone I've opened up so far has given me at least two. Uh, but this is the product that has the future watches that everybody loves to collect. Now, 22, 23... It's not maybe the greatest year right now. I don't know if time will tell if the rock crop of rookies coming out of it are, you know, is it like 82, 83 OPG? Just sort of okay. And in the end, that was a pretty good year, but 83, 84 OPG, maybe it'd be a better year if you're looking at vintage years of hockey or, I don't know, like I say, it's hard to say. Shane Wright, Matty Beneers, the two Kraken guys there. A lot of interest in them that year, not so much this year. Matt Boldy, Marco Rossi. Again, Rossi's probably gained some popularity there, but you know, Brock Faber's everybody's heartthrob and mini. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'm going to rip another box of SBA and finish while I start with this. Let's start with this. No, let's finish with it. And let's just go right to the SP. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't, please tap the like button, subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos. There's tons of them up there. And if you're in the buying mode, go to eBay and check out my items there. As I do sell a lot of what you see here up there and a whole lot more okay here we go I forget which number of boxes this is i've opened of sp but we're in the teens now i've opened a lot of this this year and the price is right i guess you know these are like 200 they're about the same price per product actually that's kind of something i didn't point out these are about 225 and so are these right now so that's canadian money so in the states that's what buck 40 about 140 us 150 more like 140 Jamie Drysdale, Red Limited is my first hit, my first parallel. I got a green Dylan Gunter, SP Top Rookies, the green parallel, or the rarest of the colors, but not numbered, not that exciting. And a pageantry, Juicy Sorrows. Pageantry with the issues in quality as well, and a lot of the cards this year have, you know, just flakiness on the front and the back. Well, that one looked pretty good. So there you go, three different inserts out of SPA, three per pack, or two in an auto. And then, okay, pack two. Jack Hughes, True Leaders. And there's my first auto, Neil Pionk, Sign of the Times. Of the Winnipeg Jets, Neil Pionk. Pionk, we'll get your sleeve in a sec there, there's a pageantry Heiskanen. And the base. I don't know the grouping of Pionk. Maybe he's Group A. Be the most expensive Neil Pionk autograph ever. But probably not. Probably worth about 10 bucks. 5 bucks. Anyone? Anyone? Here's Chase Pearson. Red Wings Red Limited Future Watch Parallel. Let me change my camera angle. That's my hands. All right, there we go. Much better. Wyatt Johnson. SP Top Rookie. Okay, well, so much that pageantry. And I dinged up. 
a moose, Mark Messier. Maybe not too badly. Took a bit of a hit there on that corner. So, yeah. Last year's pageantry, he was a ranger. Gino Malkin, Thatcher Demko, Brady Tichuk. Okay, Panarin, the bread man. Top rookies. Sanderson, oops, wrong pile. Pageantry, Carter Hart. Maybe it'll be a big one. Could be a patch. You never know. SPA is always a bit of a surprise. We've got second. Only two base on the top of this one. Interesting. Roman Josie. Red Limited with a Mark Stone True Leader. And a pageantry red. Ice skin with a William Bitten Future Watch. William Bitten. Bitten. Bill Bitten. 327.999 non-numbered Future Watch. Where is he from? Ottawa, born in 98. Bill Bitten. I don't follow the Blues closely enough. Okay, I'm bad. Let's go. Let's go with another red. Brant Clark. Red Limited with a Pavel Regenda. Top rookie. And a blue. Solar Blom. I think that's, did I have a green? Or maybe even have a blue already of him. 84, 399. Elmer. Elmer Soderblom. I don't know if there's any excitement over hitting a colored parallel not autographed out of SPA. That's what SP is for. Retail. Okay, working our way down this box. We got Red Kovacevic, or Kovacevic, or Kovacevic. I don't know. One way I'll get it. Maybe I should watch some more Habs games, too, and listen to the commentator. Collab of Zegers and Terry, and a pageantry of Braden Tracy. Okay. Probably should have got a little bit more excited when I hit that. Hitted when I hit the green SP top rookie, because they are fairly rare. This one we got Suzuki. It looks like another collab of Eberly and Schwartz. Hey, a hollow foil. That's a case hit. Wow. Although, not the most exciting case hit, but they are one per case. I like the design this year. Less flashy. Caprizov. Kirill Caprizov. Cappy, hollow foil, F HF10. Caprizov, hollow foil. Fairly decent card. Hunter Drew. Top rookie of Braden Tracy and Future Watch Retro Vlasic, Mr. Pickles. Alex Vlasic, Retro Future Watch, 86 of 399. Okay. Hopefully, you get another Blackhawks autograph Future Watch in my next SP Authentic box that I open, which 2324. If I hit a Blackhawks Future Watch autograph. It'll probably be Korchinski. I won't get Bernard. I never hit the big guys in the products. And again, a lot of people don't either. But I, did, I never hit Crosby in 0506. I never hit McDavid in 1516. Mind you, I didn't rip as much back in those years. Last pack in the SPA. Before I get into the new stuff, the newer stuff, 2223. Both these are old. They're last year. I want 2324. The Breadman starting us off with a blue Korzak, Caden Korzak, the Spectrum. Forgot I didn't get one. There's Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes having a heck of a season. Where's a C up there now instead of a 43? Uh, pageantry Matty Beneers. Okay, well, very, very unexciting, unrewarding, but always fun to rip. Two autographs, kind of, yeah. I can't say a whole lot about that box other than the case hit. Capri's off, which is not worth a whole lot. There's a hard-earned $225 with about... Lucky if you get 50 bucks value there. Oh, it's not always about the return. It's about the fun. And I do have fun ripping SPA. I just don't know how much more fun we can have with 22-23 at this point. Bring on 23-24. It's only going to be a 1000 a box. I don't know what they're going to charge for this stuff. Probably 450 That's my guess. Canadian. Who knows? 
Maybe it'll have calmed down by then. It's the Series 2. Everybody's saying the premium's put on because of the, the, the one of one Bedard. I don't know. There's no excuse at all for jacking the price of Series 2. There's the exact same price as Series 1 to produce. It's just the suppliers that are putting a premium on it. Well, this will be our first thick boy of this year's Spigoo, as I did. I've opened up, well, I've hit 11 cards so far. Let's see how this continues. Shane Wright. Shane Wright. Well, that could be a good card at some point. Has anybody got any hope left that this guy might be a great superstar one day? Uh, you never know. Still got a lot of aging to do. He's young. Behind Shane Wright, we got a Tyler Tucker and Shane Wright. R42, this is the retro design. Because this does look a little like 0203. With a red autograph, Blake Coleman. Red rookie jersey? No, he's not a rookie. He's not a rookie for a long time. I think 06, 07 was Coleman's rookie. 71 of 49 jersey auto parallel. Let's go from the back. Get a Purity, Billy Smith. That's a cool looking card. That one's numbered out of 35. 03 of 35. Hall of Fame, Islanders, Stanley Cup, tough guy goalie. I like that one. What else is on the back of this? We got another jersey. It's Riley Walsh, Rookie Outbursts. That's a new design for this year's 22-23 lineup. It's kind of a cool, I guess it's just one jersey with a is it more than one jersey piece? Uh, received a where it's it's not even game worn. Of course not, it's a rookie. It's been worn by him in the photo shoot room. You're squeezing him out there. One hit to go. It's a thick card. What do we got? We got Tom Wilson patch at a 15. Another tough guy. He's like a tough guy pack. Tom Wilson. Look at it, it's coming right out of the card. Do you see that? It's like, look at that. It's like a 3D card. The black, the blue patch, threads hanging out. Number nine of 15, Tommy Wilson. It's the patch parallel. Pretty cool card. But I don't know if I'm excited when I hit a Tom Wilson. He's not the most collected guy, I don't think. No, it's not going to work. Here, I don't have a fat boy sleeve, and I'll have to just be careful with my Tommy Wilson patch till I get an appropriate sleeve. The other autograph out of the break was Blake Coleman, very, uh, let's say, very average box of SP game used, but kind of fun to rip just for the price at 225. I'd say that's more worth like 125 Canadian, but perhaps in another few months we'll see that price. But not likely. This is, like I say, a group break popular product, so it'll probably area premium but I see a little bit of price reduction perhaps in the coming weeks but who knows who knows this hobby is a crazy crazy hobby right now and uh yeah prices are all over the place there's blown out stuff from last year and some of the stuff is still holding its value and yeah you just got to find your product and, and like it i guess Okay, well, pretty typical break for both products. Not a lot of profit out of them, but it um, was, was quite a bit of fun. I like this Billy Smith, too, number 35. Not rare, but it wasn't the greatest break, but it was always fun. I'll be back with another one in the near future. I got some, again, some of this blown out stuff. I see the prices dropped on. I'm going to be ripping some of the cheaper stuff over the next couple of weeks. But uh, as I say, as the new year comes in, to taper my videos back a little bit maybe every other day for a while every third day i don't know we'll figure out some sort of schedule but the daily videos as i've indicated earlier are likely to not continue a whole lot longer yeah i think my first boxes were better go back check out watch the other videos the best be game used i did i do think day one even though i was shorted a card boxes produced better cards thanks for watching keep on collecting